So what, what's your name again? Manly. Manly. I'm yeah. John. John. Yeah. Okay. So as I was saying, I was I was a as I was saying, I was a Christian before. Yeah. I was a Christian before, but I never believed Jesus was God. It's just something didn't click with my. Well, me. Yeah. I tell you something. Mm. Yeah. I know something is wrong somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah. And everywhere you go, if you go to Muslim, they convince you that Muslim is the right. Yeah. If you go to Christian, they convince you Christian is the right. If you go to Jehovah Witness, they convince you. If you go to Revivalist, if you go to Rastafari, anywhere Everyone's you go. Everyone's trying to give the... Everyone give a view, yeah. but it's one thing, everyone talk about God. Yeah. They all talk about God, everyone. So therefore, God must be yeah. the mighty. Now, the in mighty. terms of who God is, because yeah. you said you believe in God. Yeah. In well, you know that God is not a human being. Well, because humans are born from humans who are born from humans. Yeah. We're a part so of why, this whole why creation. Why say it? Say um, God make man of His own image. Mm. This is the image of humans, of His, of the man's own image. Yeah, but but why say God make us? Mm from his own image. The, again, the, th the point is that this is this is in the Bible. Yeah. Now the problem is, as Muslims, we don't believe in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah? We believe the Bible is authored by people. Yeah. I it believe is, that. I believe Bible. that. Now, I believe we that. believe that God originally gave books to the prophets. Yeah. He gave revelation. Yeah. We believe he gave the Torah to Moses. Yeah. He gave a book to David, he gave a book to Jesus, he gave the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. But these these previous books before the Quran, they no longer exist. Yeah. What we have today is the Bible. And this is written by men. This is I authored by men. I believe. And then now, yeah. in the Bible, because so why I, do we accept what the Bible says? Yeah, That's I, the point. Why is it on authority? Yeah, others? I can give you a book. Yeah. I say, go and write these. Yeah, I can give you a book. I say, copy this book and give out to the world. Yeah. But what is in the book is not what you put in the second exactly. one or the third exactly. one or the fourth exactly. one. They, they alter it. So they put their alter own it. agenda. Yeah, to their, uh, their own agenda. So what I'm saying. If God is this mighty man, or mighty whatsoever, yeah. yeah? If, all right, you are the head for your house, mm. yeah? yeah? In the house, and I'm your little son. And I said, Dad, can I bring in this cow in the bedroom? And you said, no. You can't bring in, I'm not supposed to bring in that cow in the bedroom because you are the head. Yeah. So if God give them the book and see them writing the book the way he didn't say, why didn't he stop them? This is the test and this is why God sent a new prophet to correct them. Yeah. You see, God would send the book, he would send the prophet, yeah. he would give them a book, yeah. the correct book, yeah. the correct message, yeah. telling them to worship God alone, don't worship a cow, don't worship Jesus. Yeah. And then they were slowly corrupted. So what would God do? He would send another prophet with another book confirming the same thing. And then people would come back to God. Yeah. And then later on down the line, same thing again. They would forget the message. They would change the religion. So God would send another book. Now the interesting thing is that the Quran is the final book, right? Because the Quran, all these other books, they've not been protected. They've not been preserved. If I ask you, give me the book that God sent to Abraham, give me the book that God sent to Moses, we don't have it. We have this Bible, which is a collection of books by people, you know, the, the Christians have used it to conquer the world, you know, they've used it to take over Africa, take yeah, over yeah. everywhere in the world, yeah. you know. It's true. They don't even believe it themselves and they go and colonize the world with it. It's true. 
Because the there's things in the Bible yeah. that contradict itself. Exactly. So and that's a, a sign that it's not from God. Yeah, so it must be a sign yeah. that something is wrong. Yeah, exactly. Something is wrong. Well, the point with the Quran is different. The Quran, the Quran was given to the Prophet Muhammad <laughs> only 1400 years ago. It's not actually that long ago. In the big scale of the world, 1400 years, 1400 years, it's not actually that long ago, really. And the Quran's been preserved through memorization. Every single Muslim memorizes at least parts of the Quran, including your son. Yeah. He's memorized some of the Quran now, you know, I do, every Muslim. And so, if I try to change the word, yeah. people are going to know it's wrong. Straight away, he's going to be on to me, no, 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 don't listen. And all the Muslims are correct me. Yeah. That's why we still have the Quran for 1400 years. Yeah, Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah. And the message, there's no contradictions. Allah says if it was from other than God, they would find, you would find any contradictions. It's, it doesn't have. I tried to prove Islam wrong for many years. I didn't want to be a Muslim, to be quite frank. I was happy, enjoying my life, yeah. making money, just enjoying partying. Yeah. I tried to, every time I come to the Quran, they had an answer. Islam has an answer. Yeah. But, but, but the Bible is not from God, that's the point. Of course in the Bible there's still some truth. There's remnants of truth. Yeah, because they couldn't write everything wrong. Yeah, yeah. but it's not from God. Yeah. It's lost its characteristics of being from God. Does that make sense? Yeah. But the Quran is fully intact. So, the Quran, and, and not only that, the message that the Quran gives yeah. is the most purest concept of God. It matches your soul, your, yeah. your innate belief in God. Our God, you cannot imagine is not anything you can imagine he's more powerful than you can imagine yeah. he's all wise you know you look at his attributes and his names you know subhanallah no other religion has this the jews say that god slept he rested because he's tired our god doesn't get tired the christians say that he died on the cross and then he came back to life because that part of god jesus it's not a part of god jesus is a human being and originally the followers of Jesus were Muslims, they submitted to God. And the original followers of Moses were Muslims, people who submitted to God. But time goes on, they come straight, and now they're supposed to follow the Quran. The Quran just tells you to worship God alone, pray only to God. Yeah. And pray how God told you to pray. You can pray, you can ask God. But also we have a structured prayer. You know the, the five daily prayers that we do where we bow, we. Yeah. We do uh, sujood on the floor. We yeah. This is a five times a day prayer. But we also ask God whenever we want. Oh God, help me, help my son, help me, you know. So, Islam is pure. And it's not for a particular tribe and nation. It's for every color, every race, every human being. It came for the whole of mankind. And everyone is equal. Yeah, I believe that. Everyone is equal. I believe you know? that. And this is this is the, this sounds like a religion what God would give. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. Cause I ask, I ask myself, like slave drivers, yeah. Yeah. I ask myself, slave drivers and slave. Yeah. Does they pray to the same God? Yeah. Yeah. You understand yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. How can the slave master yeah. pray to the same God that the slave driver prayed? Oh. It's wrong. The slave, something is wrong somewhere. Yeah. But I don't but know. But in it's Islam, what. everyone prays to the same God. Same God. You know, there were slaves at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah. Yeah? They were Muslim. What did Muhammad do? He told the companions, go and give your money and buy them and free them. Don't let them be slaves. You understand? And they were praying to the same God. Everyone's yeah. equal. He said there's no Arab who is better than a non-Arab. No black or white better than a black and white. No. Except in good deeds, in your piety, on who you are. That's what differentiates a good person, who is better between us, who is better in their actions and their sincerity, not in your color or your tribe. No. And this is why Islam changed all this. No you know? one is better than anyone. You can't be better than me, because one day you're going to die, I'm yeah. going to die. Yeah. You understand? And if you get a cut, 
blood going to come. It's the same thing. If you're hungry, you have to eat. If you're tired, you have to sleep. So the color don't How make How long anything. has your son been a Muslim now? No, no, I think it's from Three. November. Yeah. How, how do you feel about him becoming Muslim? Me? Yeah. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I have to support him if he see the right thing. You know, it's really good. Go. It's really good. You know, a lot of families, they don't support uh, kids. They hate Islam. <laughs> Why? Why? But yeah. the next thing we are seeing in this world, mm. the right thing mm. always come offensive. Yeah. If you understand what I mean. The mm. right thing always come offensive. Mm. The wrong thing always look good. You find it, uh, it's true. Yes, yeah, so true, true. with a Muslim, which may be the right thing, I can't say the right thing because I'm not a Muslim. You can say it because I can't tell you if a food is hot unless I feel it and know it's hot. So with the Muslim, maybe it's the right thing and that's why people fight against it because people fight always against the right. Yeah. Always. The fight against against the right. So Have you looked into Islam? Have you done much research into Islam? Do you know much about? No, no. nothing, nothing. But as I said, our religion is later. pure. It's about the pure belief in God, the pure worship in God, and acknowledging that only He is capable of of, of these things. Yeah, sooner or later you know? I'll, I'll know about it. You understand? And as I said, the problem is these Christian books. They're written by men. Definitely. You know, and they've been used to control people. Yeah, yeah. You and know? they tend to put a fear in you also. Mm -hmm. These books that they write, they tend to, to write it under a fear. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know your mom will tell you, if you go outside, when I go to work, I'm going to beat you. Yeah. That's the fear they put in you. Yeah, the yeah. Bible drives fear in you. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And I don't, I don't see why you should be praying to God with fear. Yeah. See, in Islam we have a balance yeah. of hope and fear. Yeah. It can't all be hope. No. It can't all be love. If you if you if, if your mum raised you only with love, yeah. you'll be a rebel. Definitely. You have to have a balance. You know there has to be You have to know you have to know the both sides. Exactly. Wrong and right, yeah. But I see I see what happened, you know. I keep on the supporting. main thing is just stay sincere. Keep open-minded yeah. and ask questions. Your son is a Muslim now. Definitely. If he doesn't know the answer, he's going to get the answer. And the main thing is, ask God. Yeah. The God that you believe in, in your heart. Ask him. I would recommend going home, putting your head on the floor, yeah. when you're on your own, yeah. in the bedroom. Put your head on the floor and say, God, show me the way. And I know that sounds cheesy, no, no. but look, if you believe in God, God is going to guide you to the right way. I'm confident in that. Yeah. People who are sincere, they will find God. You know? And we, we can't force people to Islam. We're here just to share. If anyone's got any questions, we try and help. Yeah, yeah, that's you know? all. If we, if we could help all one another in this world, we, we'd be better at Yeah, we'd be better yeah. at you know? Rather than one person. Where are you from? Me, Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. Sure. There's a lot of Muslims in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Muslim in Jamaica. Muslim is in Jamaica. Yeah. So yeah, just stay sincere. I don't think a lot, but Muslims there, in Jamaica. There's a fair amount of people. Yeah, in Jamaica, yeah. Fair amount of people in Jamaica. People finding religion now. People finding Islam more. There's more people becoming Muslim now. Yeah. Mm. Maybe they find that, that that is the right too. And if you find the right and still doing yeah. wrong, then just do your research wrong. keep asking questions and stay open-hearted open-minded don't just deny it. something for the sake of it that's no, the thing no, you know no. a lot of people are like i don't want to be a muslim so they find they try to find reasons not reason. to be a muslim. yeah yeah I won't just that. stay sincere keep asking questions keep yeah. studying I and, won't uh, that. inshallah and you know he knows where i am yeah. you know, if you need any help i'm gonna anything. get in touch with him no man i need you to bring me to um he can take you to the mosque as well. Yeah, I'll go there with him. Go and check it out. Yeah, definitely. I'll go there. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.